Day Learners. It's a brand new day to learn and verify knowledge. Let's elevate ourselves with clouds of endless science concepts, only with Teacher LV. Today, we are going to discuss how to determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in a particular atom. In this lesson, you are expected to 1. Locate the atomic number in the periodic table. 2. Identify the subatomic particles associated with mass number. 3. Determine the number of neutrons from the mass number. And 4. Interpret shorthand notations for isotopes and atoms. But before that, prepare yourselves as well as your pen, paper, learning activity sheets, and your periodic table of elements. Are you ready? First, let us have an activity which is called 3 picks, 1 word. I am going to show you pictures and you are going to guess what word it is. What word can you form out of these pictures? The correct answer is atom. How about this second set of pictures? The correct answer is proton. And this third set of pictures, what word can you form? The correct answer is electron. And in this last set of pictures, what word can you form? The correct answer is neutron. So the words that you have formed are associated with the topic that we are going to discuss today. What is matter made up of? All matter are made up of atoms. Atoms are composed of three types of particles, namely protons, electrons, and neutrons. These major components of the atoms are collectively referred to as subatomic particles. Atoms of which all objects are made are electrical in nature. It contains particles which are positive and negative charges. The proton which is found inside the nucleus carries a positive charge and it was discovered by Eugene Goldstein. The electron which is found outside the nucleus carries negative charge and it was discovered by J.J. Thomson. Atoms in their most stable state are neutral with an equal number of protons and electrons. The other particle, neutron, which does not carry any charge or is electrically neutral, is also found inside the nucleus of an atom and it was discovered by James Chadwick. One characteristic that is common to all atoms of an element is the number of protons in the nuclei. The number that is unique to a given element is called atomic number. What is an atomic number? An atomic number tells the number of protons which is also equal to the number of electrons. How about the mass number? Mass number is the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons in an atom. Atoms having the same number of protons but different in number of neutrons are referred to as isotopes. The isotopes are identified through their mass number. Consider the isotopic symbol of an atom of sodium. It has 11 protons, 11 electrons, and 12 neutrons. Consider the Eichmann mnemonics in determining the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Wherein, atomic number is equal to the number of proton, which is also equal to the number of electron while mass number minus atomic number is equal to the number of neutron. Did you understand it? Now, in order to understand the topic clearly, let us have some exercises. Are you ready? your learning activity sheet on page 38 together with your periodic table and consider the shorthand notation in answering this activity. Directions. Using the periodic table, fill in the blanks with the information needed to determine the atomic number, atomic mass, number of proton, neutron, and electron. Number 1. Copper.
The atomic number is 29. Atomic mass, 64. Number of electron, 29. Number of neutron, 35. Number of proton, 29. Number 2, gold. Atomic number, 79. Atomic mass, 197. Number of electron, 79. Number of neutron, 118. And number of proton, 79. And number 3, silver. Atomic number 47 Atomic mass 108 Number of electron 47 Number of neutron 61 Number of proton 47 So always consider the ape man in determining the number of proton, electron, and neutron. Let us have another activity. Your learning activity sheet on page 39 together with your periodic table of elements. Directions. Use the periodic table to complete the information needed on the table. The first element is done for your reference. For the first element carbon 12, the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons is 6. For the second element carbon 14, what is the number of proton, neutron, and electron? The number of proton is 6, number of neutron is 8, and the number of electron is 6. For magnesium 24, what will be the number of proton if the number of neutron and electron is 12? The number of proton is 12. How about magnesium 26? What will be the number of neutron and electron if the number of proton is 12? The correct answer is 14 for the number of neutron and 12 for the number of electron. And for lead 207, what will be the number of proton and the number of neutron if the number of electron is 82? The number of neutron is 125. Congratulations, learners! And for the mastery of the subject matter, let us do the last activity. Directions Using the periodic table, determine the number of neutrons from the mass number of a given element. Fill in the table with the correct answer. I will give you 20 seconds to finish the activity. Let us check if your answers are correct. For element number 1, aluminum, the atomic number is 13. Atomic mass, 27. Number of proton, 13. Number of electron, 13. And the number of neutron, 14. 
For carbon, the atomic number is 6. Atomic mass is 12. Number of proton, 6. Number of electron, 6. And number of neutron, 6. And for zinc, atomic number, 30. Atomic mass, 65. Number of proton, 30. Number of electron, 30. And number of neutron, 35. Congratulations for those who got a perfect score. So always remember the eight-man mnemonic in identifying the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons of a particular atom. Atomic number is always equal to the number of proton, which is always equal to the number of electron. While mass number minus atomic number is always equal to the number of neutron. Today has been an elevating learning experience with all of you. See you next time as we learn and verify knowledge only with Teacher LV. Goodbye!